Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to make a quick video detailing how to install uh, Daisy Overpock without using a launcher and to play it without using a launcher because I find uh, once you get into or start playing Overpock, you start to see errors when you're launching the game, can't join in servers, whatever it may be. Some of those errors are associated with the launcher you're using and you may blame it on the server. You may say, hey, this guy doesn't know what he's doing, blah, blah, blah. It's, you know, it's my client's fine, whatever. It may not be either one of your fault, it just might be the launch you're using. So we're going to uh, eliminate that possibility, and we're going to play without using one. The first thing I'm going to show you is if you don't have any of the files necessary for Overbach downloaded, I'll show you how to get them really quickly, and if you do, I will uh, show you how to move them properly to the places we need them. So, first mod we're going to need is just the obviously we need Daisy mod, right? So, I'll put all the links in the description, and I don't know if these manual installation files still work these mirrors I know the torrent does so if you do have uTorrent or another uh, torrenting program I really recommend using it if you don't you don't know how to use it what you can do is go to Steam and you can search for Daisy mod and you can install that um, should work great should work the exact same way no worries the torrent will be a little bit faster though so if you can set up a torrent uh, program I really would recommend it Second one we're going to need is Daisy Overwatch. So, once again, the link is going to be in the description. And we need to either choose download one or download two. And make sure you have WinRAR. Forgot that. Um, WinRAR is just like unpacking zipped folders. That's all it is. It's nothing more, nothing less. They call it extracting. Not a big deal. Just right click it, extract, blah, blah, blah. You'll get a good folder. Nothing complicated. <clears throat> and third one, we need Daisy epoch so what we want to do is head to their download page it's a little bit different and you should see client files md5 hash if you want to check it and the torrent manual client install that's what we want so this one only um, allows you to, to download it with the torrent which is once again why I recommend you just use uTorrent or something like that it's not hard and if you don't want to do that you can download a launcher and just click um, is Epoch 1.051. Uh, That's what we need exactly. Those numbers need to line up. Okay, I forgot. I'll go over here too. We need the 0 to 5. And for the Daisy mod, we need 1.8.3. I'll put that all in the description um, when, you're, when you're doing it so you won't forget. <clears throat> okay, so now once we have those files downloaded, we need to uh, head to a specific directory. So we're going to start just with our computer. I'll put this in the description as well, just in case anyone's a little uh, a little lazy and they don't want to um, do it themselves. Um, oh, and I will show you how to do to do it my way if you already downloaded the mods, like I said, I have Daisy Launcher. Um, I'll show you how to set it up properly as well. So what are we going to do? Steam, uh, Steam Apps, Common. Arrowhead, and once you unpack and unzip the files, see like I have a zip right here, right? The at Daisy Overwatch, you need to extract that. I have WinRAR and just extract files, extract here. It should come into this directory and make sure it is at Daisy. Another thing you want to check is you need to look in the folder and make sure it's not a folder within a folder. Sometimes when you extract, it'll be at Daisy, at Daisy, and then you'll see this. Or at epoch at epoch and then you'll see the actual mod it needs to be this way once you open it you should see add-ons uh, on a top line of everyone if you don't then there's something wrong move the files up one directory uh, and you should you should be fine should work absolutely fine once you get to this point you don't need to set launch apps launch actions or parameters in steam you don't need them doesn't affect anything when you do get into Operation Hourhead, though, I'll pull it up right now. Check your expansions and make sure they look like this. In particular, you, you're you not going to need these ones that say light next to them. You're going to need Arma 2, obviously, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead, Daisy Overwatch, Daisy Epoch, and I play without enabling the Daisy mod. If this does not work in particular for you, enable it, retry, and put Daisy mod all the way at the top. Uh, or I'm sorry, at the, above the Daisy Overwatch and Daisy Epoch. Just put it there. It should work fine. 
and you will notice that the game's gonna look a little bit different when you when you launch up. There's gonna have three uh, logos down here. It's gonna say Daisy Overwatch, uh, Overpock, sorry, or Overwatch and Daisy Epoch. Just messing up my words, apologize. And from there, you should be able to click multiplayer and then search for your server. Whatever server you play on, you'll be able to find just normally. Um, I don't know what's up with my mouse right now, but you'll be able to, uh, just like you normally would in any uh, of your launchers, the filter tools down here, if you never used it before, search for whatever you want to search for. And if you can't find it, you can always use the remote option, remote to an IP address, and you should be fine from there. Exact same way. Really quickly, if you already have the mods installed and you want to just know how to where they where they are, or, you know I gotta move them, I can't find them. Usually, it's gonna be in your documents, especially for like the CCG launcher. Um, it installs through this PC documents CCG launcher, and all you need to do is just move to or right click and cut, and then cut them to the directory we put the other files in that we downloaded. There's also, I believe, if you use the Daisy launcher. There it is. If you use a daisy launcher, um, it your files may be in here. It depends really because I know you can change the directory you want it downloaded with that launcher uh, where you want the files downloaded. But the what we need for our purposes, we need it to be in that specific directory that we went over. That way, uh, Arma 2 will find the extensions without having to look in any additional places and we don't need startup parameters. Everything will work fine. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and please, if you do have questions, don't put them in the comments. Um, it's not my, the place to troubleshoot is, is the YouTube comment section. If you do have a do you have a question, message me. I'll get back to you much, much faster than if you post it in the comment section. If you do message me, please put all detail you can into the message as well. I can't help you if you just say, it won't work. I'm sorry, like it's stuck. I don't know what's up. wrong. I can't help you from there. Do as much as you can to be as detailed as possible. If you really try to reach out and contact me, I'll do my best to help you guys. All right. 